Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 9 of Donna Man. So last episode we pushed very quickly into bronze and what I want to do is to fill in some of the things that I should have been doing all along. So first things first, uh, let's get a workshop going and let's get rid of our old crafter. It's going to get replaced. Then additionally, let's go ahead and build some storage here. A wood pile next to the charcoal burners because we're gonna want to store wood here a bunch of animals as you can see on the left just got extincted at this point any flint mines that I currently have people working at I can get rid of I'm not gonna use flint for really anything anymore it's now entirely an obsolete uh, material and I know that really soon I'm going to be pushing towards stone. So what I'm going to do instead is queue up a gathering of stone. I'm going to queue up five people to gather up to 50 stone. Because as soon as I unlock masonry, we are going to have a really high requirement of stone. All right, so our crafter is gone. And then in its place, let's go ahead and add a workshop right where it used to be. And I'll set this as a high priority. And a workshop basically replaces your crafter once you unlock it. And I unlocked it once I hit Copper Age. I just forgot to build it. So a trader just came in with horse domestication, which would be very, very cool to own. I'm just curious if I can afford to buy it. So right now what I'm doing is selling off a lot of my older tools. And let's see. I have a lot of linen cloth and a lot of wool that I can sell as well. And that gets me most of the way there. And then I have some wool and linen, but I'd rather sell off the cloth. Um, okay, so we have enough for that just about... I'm curious what I can keep instead now. Um, let's go with keeping one more linen and then selling. Well, no, we'll just sell it. Okay. Now, horse domestication allows us to tame horses and use horses for hauling instead of donkeys. There are some wild horses out here. And once we start to tame horses, I'm going to disuse donkeys, basically. I'm going to slaughter them. Don't tell Shrek. He'll be mad. Okay, so the pending materials that we have here are wood. We're about to get a huge, huge boon of wood, though. Because as soon as I upgrade my palisades from wood to stone, all the wood that we put into the palisades can be reused So some of the adults horses I won't be able to tame. I'll just kill. But all the youngins I'll try to tame. I love how the wild horses use in my bridges. That's pretty funny to me. All right, uh, work area, let's get rid of that. We did make our first bronze just now, which gives us uh, a nice milestone of the metal alloy. So that part is exciting. I know I'm low on harvesting tools. I have to make it out of bronze. So what I have here is... I'll allow them to make both kind of metals. So here's our first workshop. I'm going to pause it for just a second. So workshop. Let's queue up fishing rods, carts, and bows. So for carts... Uh, right now, I'm going to be making carts infinitely. So instead of infinitely, I'm going to set up for 10 carts. And then I'm also going to set up for 10 horses or 10 donkeys. And as soon as we start to get... Oh, we already have horses. So what I'm going to do actually is to set my donkey's population to zero. So we're going to have 10 horses and 10 carts at any given time. And then also, um, 
let's go ahead and go back. This is F4, by the way. And we'll also make 10 sledges. And that will help keep our people productive. So we are one knowledge away from having masonry, which is a bit of a game changer in my opinion. It's one of the better techs. A lot of stuff comes up. Oh, there we go with masonry. So now this allows us to make warehouses, roundhouses, and really good walls. So let's first kick off with making the roundhouses. I'm going to put two roundhouses right here and I'm going to set them as high priority. I'd like to increase my capacity um, so that when people randomly choose to join our settlement, we can have a huge amount of them join at once. Now, I know it says we're low on harvesting tools. What I'm going to do is queue up some bronze sickles ahead of uh, all the other tools as a higher priority. Now, we do have a decent amount of bronze, so we just need a metallurgist to work that. There we go. Now this wood stockpile should have sticks and wood because some of these tools require sticks, of course, and then the charcoal requires wood. So this stockpile will help keep the metallurgist and the charcoal pits going. Now for knowledge, um, let's go make some additional stables. I just built my first roundhouse, which increases my pop cap considerably. Um, no, I'm actually not going to make the stables just yet. Some of the more deteriorating uh, huts I'm going to upgrade to roundhouses. And then the storage huts, this one's in particular because it's just about empty, I'm going to upgrade to a warehouse. So we have two horses. I'd like more, just in case my current horses are like both male. Uh, we got some bison here and some wolves. Fun to hunt. A whole bunch of deer, ibex. Yeah, we could definitely get a pretty decent amount of meat and food and all that from them. Another thing I might want to consider is cranking out another megalith. I could try for the five menier, uh, which would be relatively easy to do. All these old flint mines I'm just definitely going to get rid of. I don't need any more flint. So I have a bunch of the menier now queued up. And a trader has arrived. Okay, Ms. Trader. I want to buy your tin charcoal and I will sell you my old tools. My old copper tools I no longer use. We do have a surplus of fabrics, so I can also sell those as well. So to upgrade a hut to a rent house, we kind of need to break it down and reconstruct it. Uh, then additionally, I do have the ability to make walls now. So I ought to do that. It looks like there's a bit of a gap here that I won't be able to bridge. I'm going to pause for just a moment. Okay, so we'll bridge the gap this way. And killed my 10th wolf. Some good knowledge. 
Let's make the roundhouses high priority. So that we have a huge population capacity. And crank out our first warehouse as well. So instead of upgrading the old palisades, I will add stone walls to it. And then eventually I will uh, go back and upgrade the palisades. But the palisades are durable enough to repel most raiders. The stone walls, of course, are superior, but... Uh, the average raider is not going to be able to get through a palisade very easily either. I'm just checking to see if I have storage. Yeah, I have plenty of storage in my granaries and all that. I should be slaughtering donkeys. Yeah, and there we go. Now we're starting to slaughter them. So we're, now that we have the ability to get horses... Uh, I definitely don't need the lower tech donkeys. It's weird to think of them in technology terms. What is this? Another wolf. So as you can see, we have got two sets of everything for bronze. We have more sickles because we needed more sickles. We also have need of picks. I don't know why they're not making bronze. Oh, here's our first bronze picks. So we have the 10 carts that I ordered, and we only have, at the moment, 7 animals to haul them, and it's soon to be 2 animals, because we really do need wild horses. Where are the wild horses? Hopefully we have a male-female pairing, as far as horses go. Then we'll, they'll at least be able to have offspring. Okay, I don't see any horses nearby, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'll just hope that we... No. Alright, so we have a lot more population capacity. Uh, one more roundhouse, or one more hut to a roundhouse will give us knowledge. So let's get that going. As you can see here, we've got... Uh, our knowledge tracker. So here's roundhouses. And then also warehouses, we'll get our first one. Trader has arrived. I'm getting a lot of traders. Brewing, average commission. Um, I just sold off a lot of stuff, so I doubt I'm going to be able to afford it. So instead, I'm just going to buy their tin. And their bronze. But they're, ooh, they're selling their bronze way too much. You ask too much, friend. This is a very good way to get rid of your older tools. Because as long as you have older tools, um, what will end up happening is your people will use them. And I find that they don't always trade up to better tools. And then they're doing tasks inefficiently as a result. Which is not something you want to have done long term. Let's check our workload. Okay, our workload's a little low. So I'm going to upgrade my walls. Ah, oh, no. I'm not going to upgrade my walls. What I'll do instead is add to them. So here, approximately here, I'll add another gate. So here's our first warehouse. Um, next of first, we could make more metalsmiths or more weavers, more outfitters. We definitely want to get the roundhouse. That's free knowledge. And that knowledge will unlock one more, uh, which maybe we go sword making. Although it wouldn't hurt to have a brewery, to be perfectly honest. Breweries are good. At this point, what I think I really need is horses. I'm still looking. Here's some deer. I 
But no, no horses. Come on, horses. Wild horses. Got our 500 straw. Well, that allows us to get brewing or sword making. So sword making allows for uh, better fortifications. But brewing makes people happy. So let's make them happy. So build, production, brewery. Uh, you're going to want to build a brewery probably close to... I'm going to build one here. It's not the perfect spot, but whatever it'll have to do. Uh, you're going to need a grain, a source of grain for it. You know, actually, let's go ahead and cancel that and move it. Production, brewery, put back here, where we're definitely storing grain. And we got a raider attack. So the raider attack's coming from the south. I only have one watchtower there, which is unfortunate. They're gonna cross this bridge And we're doing a pretty good job. A lot of our dogs jumped in the fray. One person so far has been killed by raiders. But we killed all the raiders fairly effortlessly. So one thing I need to do, and remember to do, is when we have people die, to make sure to recycle their goods, their the stuff on their bodies. And that especially is true for raiders. Because otherwise they're their loot, so to speak, will just subsist on their bodies and go to waste. Um, on the other hand, because the raiders died on the bridge, it seems a little tricky to, to target their weaponry. Because the bridge is kind of getting in the way. I'll check back on that in a second. Oh, winter time. I'll see if this trader has something good for me. Looking, I need charcoal, I need copper. You have copper. So that works for me. I'll sell you my old harpoons, my copper sickles, and I have a lot of linen and wool, mostly because I farm it and have uh, a ton of um, sheep. And that's a really good way to make sure that I am uh, providing sort of trade goods for sale. Uh, Alright, so here I'm going to build a well as close to this brewery as I can. Come on. I know it's an invalid location. Give me a valid one. Because the brewery needs water. Okay, that's going to have to do. It's not perfectly close, but it's close enough. And then we're going to be able to make grain and water into beer. And that is a morale... Oh, look at my welfare. My welfare is fantastic. Where's my horses? They're probably currently hauling. Let's take a quick look to see what animals we got nearby. At this point, given my food surplus, I don't really need to do any hunting. I need to do taming. So there's a bunch of aurochs. No, I don't. I don't see any horses nearby. We'll, we'll just have to wait. All right. So if we need copper, let's go and go back into Primal Vision and queue up all the local copper mines to be. Or nodes, loads, to be mined. As that's currently what's bottlenecking our bronze production. As well as only having one metalsmith. And once we exhaust some copper and tin areas, we can build mines and that will provide knowledge as well, which will be great. So checking back on our knowledge, um, I could make some more outfitters or weavers. I'm going to make some more weavers. I'm actually going to keep one of the weavers. So let's go into production, go into weaving, 
and I'll place it right next to the old weaver. So this is a adult male. Where's our other horse? I probably should have kept those donkeys until I really could replace them with horses. I def oh, here, well, thank you game for sending me horses. So into my limits, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and capture these pigs even though I'm gonna slaughter them immediately afterwards. Cruel, but why not? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set up another stable. I'm keeping this one. And then I'm going to construct these two and just break them down. So at the moment, yeah, I have two males. So I'm going to need to tame some female horses. Where'd those wild horses go? They bolt with their colts. Uh, here is a wild young female. Hopefully that we get tamed. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Now we at least have a male-female combo. Oh, actually, we tamed a bunch of horses. That's very good. Okay, we have a fair amount of population capacity, but I'm going to keep upgrading these huts. And then likewise, I'm going to upgrade these storage huts. Uh, maybe not two at once. And that way we'll get all the warehouses we need. Last pig had died? Yeah, I know. I chose to slaughter it. Looks like we got the walls. New people just joined the settlement, checking our workload. It's a little low, so let's give them something to do. So for making this bridge, or making this wall, this bridge is no longer going to be useful. Uh, we have a bear attack. Darn, it killed someone. I did not get a lot of warning about that. So what I'm going to do is choose where my gates are. I'm going to choose... Oh man, I can't place gates really anywhere. Okay, we'll build a gate here. This cuts pretty close to my housing. Which sucks for the people that live in this house. But, oh well. Right, what do you, oh, you have horses for me? Tin. Cured meat. Wow, I just really want that one tin, I guess. Okay, so we're adding a bunch of watchtowers near the gates. The gates are going to be where raiders are going to tend to travel to. And then we are limiting the amount of bridges we'll have because we're only going to have so many gates. So that means I'm going to need to run my walls along the waterfront like this. And I have a lot of megaliths now. I have enough to, uh, wow, there's a lot of animals here. It's too bad I don't need more food. Uh, let's get them rolling. I won't have uh, projects for them just yet. I think what I'm going to do is set up a bunch, uh, get all of my men here. Get all five of my men here knowledge. And that way I can place a bunch of men here around my colony around my little village uh, for morale restoration. For some reason or another, I can't even find all the megaliths out there. 
well, I'll just set these up for now. So what I'll go do is set my spiritual menier, and we'll plop these strategically around so that we can refill our morale. So that's one, two, let's get one up here, three, get rid of these stables. I never really intended to keep them. All the stone has been mined out there. Uh, let's go ahead and add another stone collection zone here. Kick this up to five people. Stones are something I'm using in massive amounts, so it doesn't hurt to have a lot. And I'll put another menu here. All right, there we go. And that's some easy prestige and some knowledge to boot. Check the workload. It's a little low, which is surprising. Um, given that we have a lack of wood, one easy way to get wood is just to replace the walls with wood walls. I think I'm going to set my horse population up to 20 and my carts up to 20 as a result. That will help keep people really productive and moving around quick. Yeah, so now they're breaking down all these walls, and as you can see, the wood just, I wouldn't say skyrocketed, but obviously replenished. This stick collection zone is nearing its end. Let's edit the work area and move it towards more sticks. Actually, maybe make it smaller as well. Let's grab these sticks first, and we'll wait until they gets exhausted. Checking our tools. Obviously, as you can see, we're pushing towards bronze tools pretty quickly. We're replacing our older tools. Oh, and some of our flax just fell to disease. That's fine. We have plenty of linens. Our brewery has a an amount of beer. Our welfare is topped out. Uh, looking at our food, it's a little light. It's nothing to be concerned about, but given that there's a bunch of wild donkeys in the area, might as well grab some food out of that. Plus, our workload was a little light. So now the workload spiked. So as you can see, the walls here, once they're constructed um, in sequence, they kind of snap together a little bit. So that's something you need to be looking to do. This also means that these bridges are now entirely obsolete, which is totally fine. More tin, more charcoal, and I'll sell you whole bunch of linens and because of the extra the uh, incredible amount of cloths I have it's very easy for me to do trading now cloths I find they're valued a lot I think it's probably a little imbalanced if you ask me but they're valued at a lot which makes it very easy to to use them for trade goods. So we just got sword making, uh, which is great. So at the bronze, or at the metalsmith, we'll be able to make bronze swords. And we already have one. We have a lot of bows. We pretty much... Bows I find to be really cheap and easy to make, so I find them useful to have a bunch of bows in order to um, defend against raiders. The more bowmen you have, the easier I find it is to murder raiders pretty, pretty easily.
All right, so this place here, I want to just store my grain. Although we have a lot of grain here too. These are just going to be grain storage. Nothing else. And that way this brewery stays productive. A bunch of new people just joined in bulk. I'm going to get my huts to roundhouses. And as you can see, the retaining wall is... Uh, we're about a third of the way walled up, which is pretty good. Checking what I can build. Uh, let's go ahead and build three more weavers that are obviously not going to stick around. Um, checking for horses. We have a bunch of wild boar. If they're this close to the base, it'd be criminal not to hunt them. Uh, we definitely have... Let's go ahead and do a mining ore. Shrink it down. And put work zones on these copper. Because taking a look, we... And put it on the tin as well. We have a lack of copper and tin. Not a lack. I mean, we, we're getting it pretty quick. But this isn't exhausted. Come on. And again, it looks like we, huh, we really crank through our wood supply. Some of these trees back here, I wouldn't mind chopping. Because they're in the way of where we want to expand to. Okay, so this is actually exhausted. That's great. So let's go ahead and build a copper mine here. That will be our first copper mine. And it also said that other places got exhausted. Let's see, is that true? No, it's not. And another trader. You've got composite archery. Commission is low. Nice. I actually might be able to afford this. So let's sell off the bows that we're not using because we're about to make them obsolete. 100% sell off the flint crap. Bone harpoons too. Uh, you have tin. I'm going to buy... Ooh, maybe I won't buy your tin. And then of course... sell our linens because we have so much linen it's so easy it's almost like cheating the amount of linen we have all right i'm gonna buy your 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 tin too okay sweet and that is the last of the bronze age that allows us to make copper uh, composite bows um so here i'm gonna stop making regular bows and make composite bows which is the best hunting tool that you can obtain I'm very excited about that. And they take uh, just uh, linen and wood, which I obviously have an insane amount of linen, so no problem there at all. But alas, I am out of time, guys. So that is it. That's the ninth episode of this installment, and this is how to plow through... Bronze Age, keeping your welfare high and your productivity at full blast. If you have any tips, tricks, ideas, feedback for me, drop me a line. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you tune in next time. Adios, everybody, and if you're playing this for yourself, uh, have fun. Good luck.